Hello friends, welcome to Insight Second Initiative. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the topic that is India's first Prime Minister. So before we further discuss regarding this topic, whoever watching this video from Telugu states, to all of you, wishing you happy Ugadi festival to all these people. Okay. Now in today's video, as a part of video components, we are going to discuss that is first context, why it is in news, then Azad Hind government, what is this? the first provincial government, what are the provincial governments, what is the main objective and what are the different types of provincial government formed in India, then different types of provincial governments. So these are the topics we are going to discuss in today's video. Okay. So first we will try to understand the context. Of course before that let us see the syllabus mapping. This particular topic is related to UPSC gender studies paper to historical backgrounds and the context is. Recently, actress turned politician, okay, Kangana Rao, she claimed Subhash Chandra Bose, not the Jawaharlal Nehru, was the first Prime Minister of Independent India. That is her claim. Actually, she commented by keeping that uh, this provincial government in mind, okay. But of course, the provincial government it was never a government in India, and it is was never accepted by the international community. In this context, we will try to understand. What is the, what are these provincial government? So in this entire video, in this entire video, we will discuss about we will discuss about provincial government, provincial governments, okay? Or we will discuss about government in exile, government in exile, government in exile. So these are the two different terminology we will use in this video. This government means they are governments in other country, other country, okay, to express solidarity, to express solidarity to people, to people in their homeland, in their homeland, okay, because the homeland was ruling by some other country. This is known as provincial government or government in exile. For example, so provincial government or government in exile, which was formed by Azad Hindu Faus, Azad Hindu Faus, okay, or else Tibetan government, Tibetan government. If you look at here, Azad Hindu Faus, this was formed in a, a Singapore. Of course, that place was under the control of Japan and that is to express the solidarity to Indians to fight against the British. Here, Tibetan government which formed in Dharmashala to express solidarity to people in Tibet and against the Chinese occupation. So this is about the provincial government and government in exile. Actually, these are generally exist only on paper because this government, they never have control over their homeland. Even though they have control that is going to be very very minimal and the international recognition to this provincial government is also very limited. So these are some of the limitations of the provincial governments. Let us see some of the provincial governments related to India. They are one is Singapore based one, the other one is the Kabul based one. Kabul based one it was during the world war one time and the Singapore based one it is during the world war two. First let us see provincial government 1943 this is during the second world war, world war two time. Subha Chandra Bose proclaimed the formation of the provincial government of Azad Hindu Faus in Singapore on 21st October 1943. Now in this context, tell me students, who established the Indian National Army, who founded the Indian National Army. So Subha Chandra Bose established this in 1943 in Singapore. At that time, Singapore was under the control of Japanese. Japanese were helping to Subha Chandra Bose and in fact, Japanese after they occupying Andaman Nicobar, they handed over the Andaman Nicobar to Subha Chandra Bose as well and some places in the northeast as well. Actually the original plan was once the Japanese occupy certain parts of India, the immediate rule will be by the Subha Chandra Bose but the ultimate rule will be, will be by the Japan. That is the idea here. So Bose was the head of the state of this provincial government which was based on Singapore and he held the foreign affairs, these portfolios also very important. Then I ask you in your exam, okay, both held foreign, foreign affairs and war portfolio and AC Chatterjee in charge of the finance, SAIR, he became the Ministry of Publicity and Propaganda, Lakshmi Swaminathan given the Ministry of Women Affairs. Authority of the government, 
this government which formed in singapore it claimed authority over all civilian and military people who are in british southeast asian colonies okay whatever the british colonies existed in the southeast asia in those colonies it uh, claimed their sovereignty these colonies mainly present in burma present in myanmar singapore and malaysia which had fallen into japan hand during the world war 2 and it also claimed prospective authority over the all indian authorities which which supposed to be occupied by the japanese forces next jap bos was given the andaman nicobar as well so here on the andaman nicobar subhash chandra bos he exercised de jure control that means only nominal powers actual powers obviously under the control of japanese because that particular piece of land occupied by the japan this government this provincial government it even given the citizenship to indians living in southeast asia whoever like the indian citizenship and the bos government in singapore even it was recognized by some foreign countries as well like germany japan italy and uh, germany and some of the japan japanese puppet states that means japanese uh, uh, states or countries which listen whatever the japan says like croatia china thailand myanmar manchuria and philippines these are the countries they recognize the government formed by the subhash chandra bos immediately after the formation this azad hind fauz they declared war against britain as well as the usa but here you have to understand azad hind fauz was not the first provincial government with respect to india before that certain efforts in the direction they were made what are those efforts let's see provincial government of india formed in kabul as well okay it was 28 years before almost all that means almost all 3 decades before the azad hind government came into existence this provincial government of india it was formed in kabul by a group of people known as indian independence committee actually this government is mainly to protect the interest of the islamic community who are mainly present in the northwest frontier as well as the present bangladesh region and even this government they sought the help of some other foreign countries as well next this was formed during the world war 1 and here indian nationalists who are present in abroad along with the revolutionaries and the pan islamist from india who are you know like fighting for the islamic unity and even they sought the help of the central powers as well like how subhash chandra bos requested the powers from the axis powers the iic with support from ottoman caliphate that means the king of the turkey and germans they tried to do the planned rebellion in india actually this was confined only to papers it was never active in indian soil they focused mainly on muslims present in kashmir and the north western frontier of british india their main focus and the government in exile in kabul okay here kabul they established government under the presidency of raja mahindra pratap very very important and some of the prominent leaders are maulana barkatullah actually maulana barkatullah he also played very important role in gadar party tell me guys gadar party established by whom and it operated from which location from which location it operated next this maulana barkatullah revolutionary freedom fighter who spent decades outside of india trying to get the international support for indian independence and he was one of the one of the important person who is behind the gadar movement along with the lala hardayal provincial governments they are generally resistive movements against the country and the other examples for is central tibetan administration which formed in dharmashala it was against the chinese authority in tibet okay similarly 1915 which was in the kabul and 1943 in singapore also similar kind of examples this azad hind force government in 1943 this provincial government it also legalized the soldiers who are working in the azad hind force they were recognized as soldiers not as a revolutionary not as a mutineers but the point is whoever this azad hind force whoever involved after india got independence i mean after the end of the world war actually world war ended in 1945 whoever involved in this azad hind force government as well as the ina indian national army all of them they were captured and they were trialed in the red forts they were captured and trialed in red forts next 
yes, and one more thing these provincial governments as we discussed earlier they are unable to show impact especially the singapore based azad hind force at least they put some effort and they try to occupy indian territories under british control but whereas the provincial government formed in kabul it was only confined to paper that means this provincial government they were only symbolic in nature but obviously we have to appreciate their effort towards the case of independence next yesterday's video question consider the following st statement 36 percentage of india's districts are classified as over exploited or critical by the central ground authority cgwa was formed under the environment protection act and india has the largest area under the groundwater irrigation in the world both these two are right and the first statement is the wrong next today's video question who was chosen against subhash chandra bose during the re-election as president of INC at Tripuri session in 1939. Main question. Elaborate the role of Subhash Chandra Bose in India's struggle for independence. What is the role of Subhash Chandra Bose? As we reach to the end of this video, in this video we mainly discussed about Kangana Raut comments on who was the India's first Prime Minister. She claimed Subhash Chandra Bose as India's first Prime Minister. In this context, we discussed about provincial government set up by Subhash Chandra Bose in Singapore. And we also discussed about provincial government set up in Kabul as well. Then, such kind of similar governments, governments in exile in Dharmashala. And what are the effects of these provincial governments? And finally, how they ended up? So, this is the story of the provincial government or government in exile. I hope this video is useful to you. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind. Thank <laughs> you.